It's time for another Ultimate Eleven. Matty on his day mm. was as good as I'd seen. Got a great story about him when we signed him, but I can't tell it because I get locked up. He set an example on and off the pitch. It's just an absolute dream. And he'd go, Gaffer, have you just signed him to take my place? And i go, well, yeah, maybe. He said, he won't. Love that attitude. That. The next one, go on. which I have to yeah. pick, he just gets in because of his size and he's just big enough to play for me. It was Crouchy. Some team, that. You rate yeah. it? Very good. Yeah? It's time for another Ultimate Eleven, and today Sam and I are joined by Tony Pulis, who's going to give us his Ultimate Eleven of players that he very, has managed. Very interested in this, by the way, because he's had so many players he's managed as well. Yeah. So the, uh, it's, it's, it's eleven is going yeah. to be very, very interesting. It must have been a difficult job for you, Tony. It's difficult, and I apologise to everybody I've left out, and I've most probably left out better players than I have picked, but uh, I do apologise. So Your team, Tony? Begovic. In goal? In yes. goal. How come? Um, presence. Is he still playing somewhere? Else. Yeah, he's at number QPR. Two. Number two. No, number he's, one. Played, he's number, number one, one at QPR. Right. Okay, brilliant. So, um, Asmir and a great lad. Yeah, great lad. Would stand up for himself. Unbelievable. I, I really admired him for doing that as well. And I've got a great story about him when we signed him, but I can't tell it because I get locked up. But anyway, <laughs> Wardy, you work with at Palace. Yeah. M most underrated fullback I've played with. Really great energy, great Still lad. playing. Still playing. Must be 36. Yeah, yeah. So, Wardy, Wardy gets that. Yeah, Wardy, I... And then I've got to go with my two centre-halves at Stoke, yeah. who, who uh, Houthi and Shawcross. Yeah. Robert, obviously, was a fab fabulous lad. And then got a winner's medal at Leicester, left Stoke. He did, yeah. Um, and then, um, you know, I'd never have let Houthi go, but he went and then got a winner's medal. And Shawcross was captain at 19 years of age, played nearly 500 games, I think, for Stoke. Wow. So those two, <coughs> that would be my back form, the goalkeeper, which is important. The wide players would be Matty Etherington. I think Matty on his day mm. was as good as I'd seen. You know, he scored goals, created goals, great pace. Um, you had to really cuddle him to get the best out of him. But I really, really, you know, all the lads used to say oh, he was my favourite. Um, I looked after him, let's just put it that way. Yeah, so did. you were dad then, were you? Yeah, he, yeah. he, he, he was, what's name? He was, uh, yeah, manager's favourite. The two midfield players, Fletcher, absolute wonderful lad. Good player, honest, fit as anything. And we, we took him from United because of his illness. Yeah, you know, after... I, I, after. After Karen Brady rejected him at West Ham, yeah, we and spoke about that, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, because yeah, he spoke to Stoke. And he, I got, I wanted him at yeah. West Ham based on. He's absolutely Fergie's, fantastic. Fergie's, you know, yeah. Fergie said, "Sam, you've got to take him. Yeah. He's just unbelievable." Yeah. Anyway, captain, he'd be my captain, yeah. and then no, why no, would he be your captain? He was just brilliant. He was. He set. He set an example on and off the pitch. It's just an absolute dream. He, he'd always do. Anything the football club wanted him to do as well, he'd always be there, Darren. He would he would never let anybody down. Just a just a that was a Gary Speed, yeah, a yeah, fabulous lad. Mm. The one next to him it might be a bit of a surprise, but this fella, I used to always try and replace him. So when we got promoted into the Premiership, I wanted to bring someone else in who I thought was better than him. And then eventually, after four or five games, he'd get back in the team. And then the following year, I'd try and do it. And the following year, and he he ended up playing about four or five hundred games. Glenn Whelan. Mm. And every time I signed someone, Sam, he'd come and knock on my door, what you were saying. He'd go, Gaffer, have you just signed him to take my place? And i go, well, yeah, maybe. He said, he won't. And he'd shut the door and off he'd go. Hey, just absolutely fantastic. Love that attitude. That, absolutely well, Do you know who I thought you were going to pick? Go on. Zonzi. Yeah, well, Stephen, Stephen was fabulous. Fabulous. But I only had him a year. Glenn Oh, did you? Oh, right. Okay. So I had Stephen for two years. Um, and then wide on the right, Balassi. Balassi was the, the seven months I had at Palace. He was most probably the most influential player. Yeah. He, he played um, and carried it. He carried the team up the pitch. He would drive forward so he and went take to Palace. the ball and then went to Everton. And, uh, uh, and I had him at oh, Everton. Yeah. Was what was he like? A disaster. Oh, yeah, it's my management, Sam. No. I'll have a chat with you no, about no, it later. No, 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 what it was. What it was. <laughs> he, never, he never recovered from a cruise ship. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. So yeah. when I got there, he, he he was he was trying to recover from a cruise ship, like you mean, and then because we were desperate, you know, yeah, um, to get his pace on the on the wing. Like oh, he was he was he was. I can remember us playing yeah. Tottenham, mm. and Walker played right back for our, for Harry, 
and he came off just before half time and honestly Yala had smashed him Sam yeah. smashed him I was and so I looking mean, forward to him getting back in the yeah. team uh, would bring us so much like you mean and yeah. and he just and he's ne he never recovered from that yeah and the next one the next one yeah, go on. which I have to yeah. pick he just gets in because of his size and he's just big enough to play for me was Croce yeah um, <laughs> I, I thought Peter was a fabulous fabulous talented. player so unbelievable. talented unbelievable about so talented. Not, not just the talented player he just brought the level of everything up at Stoke when we signed him. Um, and a great lad off the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. A little scallywag or a big scallywag, but a great <laughs> lad. And then my, my most probably my favourite was Ricardo. So they'd be my front two. Yeah. We'd keep so, you busy off the pitch. That'd do well in the Premier League now, that team would. Even now that'd do yeah. very well in the Premier League. Yeah. That. that was that was it. Oh, very Johnny much. Evans. Johnny Evans. Left back, I've put him. <laughs> All right. I could put Johnny any position at the back or in midfield. I played in midfield one day and he was the best player on the pitch. Very good. But um, I really I really like Johnny. Some team, that. You rate yeah. it? Very good. Yeah? Yeah, that easy top half of the Premier League, that now. Yeah. Any names that you suddenly jumped to your head that you missed out? Might, no, might Steven. Might Steven, Steven. Get, might get, I think probably get into Europe. Yeah, Steven, Steven was a good player. Never gave the ball away. Good size and kept everything simple but was brilliant. And a great lad, Sam Monny. Oh, and on the second great division, lad. France. We got him from yeah, great lad. So seven hundred and fifty. What you, you nicked him for about two mil, didn't you? Yeah, one point five, I think. One point five, yeah. Because yeah. Blackburn got relegated, he rang me up and yeah. said, "Wow, yeah, player of the season in his first season." Yeah, coming from French League Two into the Premier League, and was player of the season, young player of the season at Blackburn in his first year. Played thirty-two games. Yeah. Wow. It was unbelievable. He was. But yeah, this, this, the giraffe, know, I called him. Yeah, I could have put Foster in goals. You know, you could Ben. Yeah. Ben was a great goalkeeper for us when I was at West West Brom. Macaulay, Olsen. I loved Olsen. Yeah. Olsen was an absolute Jack and I character, but turned up every week. Every week turned up, gave his best. Um, and they're the players I really, I really like working with. I really like those players who enjoyed the company of other people. But when it comes to Saturday, they were ready to go. Love that. Thank you very much. That is Tony Pulis's ultimate Brilliant. 11.